Brian Tong here outside of Apple headquarters at the conclusion of their iPhone OS 4.0 announcements and the big news, multitasking is here. Let's start off with the first one, which is uh, probably going to be the biggest one, and that is multitasking. Now we know multitasking exists on other phones, but really the way Apple showcased it and its execution is what stood out. You could use applications like Pandora, listen to your music, interact with other apps, and another example was using Skype where you could take a phone call and then jump into other applications, still be on the same phone call and look for all the information that you need. We also saw folders. We know plenty of you have so many apps, you just don't know how to organize them. They showed a cool little way to drag and drop them on top of each other. It creates a folder and then you could see the icons of the apps in that folder. And one feature that took us by surprise is Apple is implementing what they call Game Center. Now this is essentially a social network for gaming, much like Xbox Live, but now on the iPhone platform. You can invite friends, you can earn achievements, check out leaderboards. This is a space that Apple's never ventured into and was really a surprise. And then the rumored iAds platform, Apple is getting into the mobile advertising business. We think most of this mobile advertising really sucks. Um, and we thought we might be able to make some contributions. But what made this different is how you could actually play with ads within the app. You don't have to go outside of it. And these ads themselves kind of look like applications on their own. Apple is sharing 60% of the revenues with the developers, but Apple is getting into the mobile advertising business. To infinity and beyond. Some of the features they showcase an enhanced mail application. It has a unified inbox so you can have multiple accounts, multiple exchange accounts. And a cool thing that I liked, organizing your emails by threads iBooks, we've seen it on the iPad, it's coming to the iPhone, and surprise, Apple's actually giving you something free. We're gonna supply a free book, <laughs> and uh, we think uh, Winnie the Pooh is a good choice. There's also some new enterprise features, so businesses will really enjoy that. But the big news is multitasking is here. It's only going to be supporting currently the iPhone 3GS and third gen iPod Touch. For those of you who have an iPhone 3G or second gen touch, you'll have some of the iPhone OS features, but not multitasking. If the user has to use a task manager to manage which applications are running in the background and which aren't, they blew it. Joining me now, senior editor Kent German of CNET.com. Uh, Kent, what was the feature that really stood out the most to you? Well, of course, multitasking. One thing we've always asked for in the iPhone is something called a you know, task manager, but Steve Jobs said today, well, if they're doing a task manager, they're doing it wrong. And Apple does seem to have a nice way to do it. You just be able to call up, see all the apps that are running, and be able to select what you want. Seems pretty cool. Now, some people are going to be left in the dark because the iPhone 3G and second gen iPod Touch doesn't support it. Um, should they upgrade? Well, they don't have to answer that question yet because WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, will be in June. We don't know exactly when. We should see new hardware there. So I would wait until that point because the OS isn't going to be available until after then. So then you can make the choice then, well, I'm just going to buy the iPhone 3GS or I'm going to get this new hardware, whatever it might be. All right, thanks, Kent. Now, the iPhone OS 4.0, it's going to be available sometime in summer of this year. Also for the iPad, they said sometime in fall. So we'll wait to see all that. For CNET.com, I'm Brian Tong.